So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the best sniper one shot build in one's human. So in this build guide I will explain what weapons and armor set you wanna get. Then we will deep dive into every single mod. And I will show you the best cradle upgrades and deviants to use. And then lastly we will take a closer look at the gameplay. So you would know the reason behind every single build choice. And what exactly will give us this insane damage and much more. So, if this sounds interesting to you, then let's get right into it. So then let's move over to the new sniper build. This sniper setup got his name from being able to get insanely high crit damage and pretty much one-shotting anyone you see. This build will work for both PvE and PvP, as well as fighting solo bosses. So let's start off with the weapons. And we are going to be using the AWS 338 Bingo Sniper Rifle. This is currently one of the easiest and best snipers to use, that has insane damage. As for accessories, so for muzzle we will be using the large brake, then for the optic we have the large optic sight, then for the magazine we have the tactical SR mag, and for ammo we have the tungsten SR ammo. And finally for our best mod we have the recover mark which when we killed marked enemies, we will recover 50% HP and 25% stamina, which is very useful when you shoot while moving. Then for our second weapon, we have the D50 Wildfire Pistol, that also will be dealing insane damage, but it's meant more for close range fights. And finally, for the third melee weapon, we will be using the Stun Baton, with the Recover Mark mod, that the same as the Sniper, will give us 50% HP and 25% stamina. Then next up we have the armor, and we will be using the boots on the ground, with the slow and steady precision mod. Then the falcon gloves, with the crit boost mod, which is very important because it will give us a massive crit rate boost, and for this build we are trying to stack as much crit as possible. Then next up we have the falcon hat, with the first move advantage mod, and as you can see we have the 4 falcon set piece, so we will get even more set effects, like the more crit damage, reduced rolling stamina cast, and our crit is increased when our stamina is over 90%. Then we have the falcon jacket with the head guard mod. And finally the heavy duty mask with the targeted strike precision mod. And don't forget guys, the main part you need to get for this build to work is the 4 piece falcon gear. One more massive thing that we need to use specifically are the cradle upgrades. And on the right side you can see all of them that I use. But the most important ones are the tactical combo which gives us 25% damage for 4 seconds, after switching or reloading a weapon. Then the first round blast, that after reloading gives us 25% instant damage for 4 seconds. Then sprint, that gives us 5% movement speed and reduces running cost by 15%. Then deadly combo, that after hitting enemy weak points, our bullets will get a 25% damage increase for the next 3 seconds. Then the bounty hunter, which after killing enemies you marked, our weapon yet again gets increased damage by 25%, which will last for massive 15 seconds. And lastly, we have the long range enhancement, that gives us 25% damage, when we hold our sniper rifle. Then now, let's take a look at the best deviant, and as there are many choices, so this is more of a personal preference. I prefer the zero purifier, because he will do a bunch of damage, attack and move automatically to the enemy direction, and this will also give us the teleportation ability as melee attacks, so this is very useful. And finally, the choice of food is again up to each player. I really like the canned lunch meat, because to make it it is super easy and it will boost our max HP by 10%. But of course, if you want to maximize everything to the brim, then you can go with the damage increasing food, or anything else depending on what you are specifically fighting. So in a quick summary, if you want to use an insanely high damage sniper build, that will one shot and destroy bosses in just a second or two, then this is the one for you. And with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell, so this way you could support the channel and not miss any more amazing content. With that said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one, so take it easy, peace.